We now send it inside the Bellator cage to Michael Williams. Bellator Fighting Championships on MTV2 from First Council Casino Hotel now present the second fight in the Bellator Lightweight Tournament semi-final round. Sponsored by Crisis 2. Be strong, be fast, be invisible, be the weapon. And now set for three five-minute rounds, we introduce first the red corner at 5'11", weighing in at 155 pounds. Undefeated as a professional, 11 victories, no defeats from Missoula. La Montana Lloyd Cup King winner. And across the cage is adversary fighting out of the blue corner at five foot eight, weighing in at 155 pounds. Undefeated as well. He enters the cage at six and oh from High Ridge, Missouri. He fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Michael Chandler. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, Jason Herzog. The rules in the semifinal round of Bellator Fighting Championships. All fights are scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Elbows to the head are not allowed, neither standing nor on the ground. And there is no kicking or kneeing the head of a grounded opponent. First round, fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? The winner fight. advances to the lightweight tournament final to face the Brazilian Patrici Pitbull, round number one. And the question is, how long will Chandler stand and bang with Woodard? Jason Herzog is the referee. Man, he's just coming forward like there is no tomorrow. Lloyd Woodard is in the white trunks. Michael Chandler is in the yellow trunks. Short right hand by Woodard on the inside. And this is where Chandler wants to be. He's so compact, so powerful. And he's capable of doing that. Just manhandling Lloyd Woodard in that clinch. That was almost a full on body slam, Jimmy. Something you rarely see in MMA. I'm not going to make a big John Studd reference. This is not professional wrestling. That is just great wrestling, that's good. But you see here his power, he's so low, he's so strong. Once he gets that low on you, it's really hard to stop him. Right hands now by Chandler. Says that his biggest strength, obviously, beyond his wrestling, and he was an All-American at the University of Missouri, is his ground and pound. He thinks ground and pound first is what he told us, sub second when he's in top position. Well, it's what they call pound to pass. Hit the guy until he makes a mistake and lets you get past his guard. Big difference between jiu-jitsu and MMA, but Woodard, to his credit, back to his feet. He showed incredible balance against Kerry Veneer. But that power is so hard to deal with. Veneer had more of a finesse takedown. Chandler comes forward like a bull. Very powerful takedown. That was a modified belly-to-belly -belly there for Chandler. Two big takedowns. Woodard did wrestle in his native Montana in high school, and at the age of 16 in Montana, Lloyd Woodard started semi-professional boxing. $150 to win, $50 to lose. His mom actually had to sign the permission slip to allow her 16-year-old son to box semi-professionally. I see some blood on the chest of Lloyd Woodard. I don't know where it's coming from right now. Looks like it could be the forehead of Michael Chandler. We'll have to see. Woodard doing a good job of tying up the arms of Michael Chandler. Woodard trying to sit up and sit through. Chandler so sticky. What he can't do is get lax. Oh, looking for that arm triangle again. Let's it go. He's got to be careful with this position. Anytime his arm is over the head of Michael Chandler, he has a great arm triangle. We saw it against Marcin Hell. What are trying to stand up was in danger of giving his back but to his feet. Now holding a guillotine position but not cinching it on. Chandler looking for a single leg. Let it go. Short left hand there by Chandler. Woodard wants to keep this fight standing. He said that he wanted an all-out brawl. Chandler said, quote, I'm aggressive, but I'm not stupid. Some blood coming out of the nose of Michael Chandler. You see it now. Chandler missing with that right hand. Chandler has been working extensively on his striking, but he says, first and foremost, I am a wrestler. But that's an option Chandler has. Throw one or two, let Lloyd think it's a brawl, then go underneath for the takedown. Punch from the top by Woodard. That was slick by Chandler. Beautiful, pull him off the cage. Woodard now holding half guard. Chandler looking to pass. We see Chandler not doing a lot to pass, staying right in the guard, looking for his ground and pound. He's not approaching it necessarily like a jiu-jitsu fighter would. He's on top, there's a good weak side pass to the right, not trying, not trying to push on that knee and pass too much. He's content to stay in guard. 
And Woodard doesn't have that black belt submission level background where Chandler really has to worry about the guard that much. Two undefeated fighters, Lloyd Woodard 11-0, Michael Chandler 6-0 in this second Bellator lightweight tournament semifinal. And Chandler so sticky, not giving Woodard any space, but Woodard back to his feet. Woodard fainting with the knee there. Chandler breathing very heavily. Straight right hand by Chandler, and again, going in forward with the shot. They're taking that out of Matt Hughes's book. That was one of his standard moves. Right hand, right into the takedown. Almost a distraction right hand. And he gets it again. Woodard went for the arm bar, could not find it. Chandler pulling out immediately. It's so hard to submit guys like Michael Chandler, even when they're fresh out of college. That wrestling background, they're used to protecting their arms, and he's so stocky. Short limbs, so physically strong. Chandler again looking for more shots. Woodard trying to stay active. You see Chandler trying to stack his man along the fence. Right hand by Chandler. And so far, this first round is pretty much what we expected. Chandler closing the distance, trying to get the takedown. Woodard trying to get space and make it a brawl. So far, this round is all Chandler. Woodard trying to strip from open guard. Chandler looking for more big shots from the top. Short left hand there. This is the fourth and by far the biggest fight in Michael Chandler's brief Bellator career, which he certainly hopes to extend with a victory in this fight. Our second lightweight tournament semifinal, the victor through to the lightweight final to face the Brazilian Patrici Pitbull. And I mentioned it in the, in the inner circle, deep water is a question. You see all those fights, first round finishes. Jimmy on your unofficial scorecard. 10-9 Michael Chandler, he was on top most of that round, working his grounded pound. Got to give it to him, 10-9. Lloyd Woodard is in the white trunks. Michael Chandler is in the yellow trunks. You see Chandler with those leaping shots. They're shots designed to close distance. He jumps in, and if he gets it or he doesn't, he's in takedown range. Chandler told us emphatically, look, I don't want to stand and bang, but I want to use my punches and my kicks to set up my takedowns, but I don't want to be reckless and force my takedowns. Now, the problem is, is that while that, that's good for wrestling, those leaping shots, they require a lot of energy. They're not as efficient as, say, a stiff jab where you're not putting your whole body behind it. He's putting his whole body behind every punch. Woodard said, I'm not afraid to take a punch to the face, and clearly he's not. He likes to stand and trade. Chandler, another shot. Good sprawl by Woodard. Short uppercut and a big knee. That is a legal knee. He did not have his knee down. He was on two feet. Great point, Jimmy, because Chandler was crouched. He was not a grounded opponent. Great job by the referee, Jason Herzog. Oh, good right hand. It was the right hand as Chandler was trying to throw the left body kick. You see Chandler coming in, not moving his head. He gets it low for a takedown. He doesn't move it side to side like a boxer. Woodward, Woodard was starting to time that right hand. Woodard missed with the left. Chandler saw the opening and he took it. Chandler, a teammate at the University of Missouri, when they both wrestled collegiately at the NCAA Division I level with Ben Askren, of course, who you will see later tonight in our Super Fight three rounds in the welterweight division. Askren versus Nick Thompson. Askren, of course, Bellator's 170-pound world champion. Chandler wants to join him with the 155-pound title. Chandler, you know, whenever you talk to him, he's one of those things. He was not a state champion, took second in state, so guys, had to work for everything work. he's had. He wasn't one of those guys who came in with a lot of credentials into Missouri, so guys, like Ben Askren, who's a two-time state champ. He said, I've worked for everything I've had. It's given him a really strong work ethic, and it shows here. Woodard sitting up again. See how tight Chandler is, walking his man back against the fence. Like, okay. Woodard wants to get up from here, and he does. We see Chandler just glued to his, his hips, ready to pull him off for another takedown. Look at that big wide base there of Lloyd Woodard. Right hand to the rib cage by Woodard, another right. Knee to the thigh by Chandler. Woodard looking for the underhooks. Again, a big wide sprawl. Oh, good short uppercut by Chandler. Chandler letting go, then a right uppercut by Woodard. But you see, once again, that strategy. I, I only throw to get in for the takedown. Woodard did a good job of getting his hand out, partially deflecting that damage, but still another big takedown by Chandler. Wasn't the full impact, though, like we saw in that near body slam and then the belly-to-belly -belly suplex in the first round by Chandler. Well, these cages are padded on the bottom. It, 
slams typically don't do that much damage unless they're really on the head or really on the on the back where it knocks the wind out of you. But man, it, it, it's great for the crowd. It really shows the judges how powerful you are. Good sweep by Woodard. He's on top. Woodard looked for the Kimura, found the sweep. Now gets the back of Michael Chandler and has the way cinch. And a knee to the side. Another knee to the side by Lloyd Woodard. But escaping, getting out of these positions is a big part of collegiate wrestling. This is still holding the waist cinch. This waist cinch position, Chandler knows this well. Look at Chandler reaching through, going for the single leg. It's kind of a modified switch, turning around and going for the leg. I don't think it's a good idea for Woodard to hang out here. I think he wants to push away and get back to his feet where he was successful early in the round. Into the final minute of round number two, this second Bellator season number four lightweight tournament semifinal. He has one hook in. Trying to kind of pull Chandler into his lap. You can see that here. He needs to lock his hands. Now we'll both hooks in by one. In. Now he has both. Chandler trying to turn with both hooks in. Now Woodard sitting on his back. We haven't seen a lot of Woodard's submission game. Sneaky right hand by Chandler, a blind backwards punch. Go, going for the rear naked, can't see how deep it is from here. Woodard looking for the standing rear naked choke in the dying seconds of round number two. 15 seconds left. Once again, cannot see from here how deep it is, but Chandler is certainly in trouble. Can he hold on? Looking to finish his Woodard, he lets it go, now punches. You see the end of that second round, trying to lock in the rear naked. Realized he was not going to get it very smart and started unloading with the strikes. Good left hands to the right, face of Michael right. Chandler, just not enough right. time to finish him. Right. Into our third and final round of this second and final lightweight tournament semifinal. Again, the Brazilian phenom Patrick Pitbull awaits the winner of this in the final. Now this is officially the longest fight in Michael Chandler's young mixed martial arts career. Lloyd Woodard is in the white trunks. Michael Chandler is in Good the Good uppercut trunks. by Chandler. Jimmy on your scorecard. I have it all tied up. I gave Woodard that last round based on that last flurry and his ability to land punches early in the round. Head Chandler kick. got the takedown, didn't do as much with it in that round. Head kick a moment ago by Chandler, not full impact. And Chandler still fighting with a lot of energy, still moving forward. Now it's Woodard on his bicycle. Straight left hand by Chandler. Oh, good right hand. Chandler now with the knee to the body. Now Woodard, we've seen before, has good timing, good movement, but fatigued. I think he, he can't read the punches like he could in the first and second round. Those right hands are landing much more effectively for Michael Chandler. Woodard very proud of the fact that he comes out of Montana. He says that I really want to show that Montana is relevant in the sport of MMA. I'm fighting for my state. He's doing a pretty good job thus far. That leaping left hand right into the takedown. Jimmy, at least according to your scorecard, unofficial scorecard, this is still anybody's fight. Takedown by Chandler. Woodard sits up immediately, tries to get back to his feet, and he does. Chandler still holding tight along the waist. This opening couple of minutes is a good statement by Michael Chandler. I still have energy. I still want to fight. Now that was a big takedown, full slam. Oh, good sweep. Get past the left arm post of Michael Chandler. Jimmy, we are in Oklahoma. How much will the three judges, and this is after all a great wrestling state, really pay heed to those takedowns? Well, they understand it. They really respect wrestling out here. Newkirk, the town we're in, has a big sign, home of Mark Branch, two-time NCAA champion for the Cowboys. Used to watch him when I was in high school. Chandler now trying to pass and throws the right hand, tripling up then a left. And Woodard's tired. You see his, his head leaning, I'm sorry, laying on the mat. That's never a good sign. You never want your head against the mat. Doesn't have anywhere to go when you get punched. Those punches have a lot more impact. More force from those punches now by Chandler. Biggest shots we've seen from him since the early stages of round number one. Big right hand to the body by Chandler. Woodard now posturing onto his left hip. And this is something Chandler really focused on. We were talking to him in the pre-fight interviews. He said, look, I've been wrestling competitively since I was a little kid. I'm used to long tournaments. I'm used to, 
you know, it, the grind of wrestling, wrestling everybody in the room all day. I'm a competitor. My opponents don't train like that. They haven't for the amount of time I've done it. He believes this is his time. He's third round gut checks, I call them. Out. He's passing the gut check so far. Chandler in the top position. And there's the stand up from referee Jason Herzog. Did not see enough activity on the ground. Woodard's going to try to take full advantage here. Chandler still with a lot of spring in his step. Head kick by Woodard, and another driving takedown. I just couldn't control him, though. Put a little too much energy into the takedown. Woodard tried to slide on the guillotine, but he lost it on the takedown. Now Woodard moving to the back. Chandler just too slick. Yeah, it's, it's hard to outscramble an experienced wrestler like this. You try and get around them, take their back, you're playing with fire. Get better, Woodard, better to just separate. Get Woodard trying to sit up. Chandler holding his man tight. Keeping Woodard on his hip and a right hand. Woodard now has one minute to turn this fight around. We are into the 15th and final minute of this bout. Our yeah. second lightweight tournament semifinal. Once again, always thinking about that arm triangle. And now in the full mount. See Woodard's head flat against the mat. Chandler he is exhausted. Chandler back in half guard, but throwing with a big right hand. Woodard trying to shrimp, trying to sit up and through, can't do it. See that half guard there held by Lloyd Woodard. Woodard fishing for a Kimura. He pays the price. Chandler lets go with two big right hands. Chandler still with a lot of energy in this fight. In the 15th minute, he's still hitting hard. Closing stages of this fight. Chandler still looking to throw heavy shots from the top. Big right hands by Chandler. Matt Chandler still pouring it on. The bell, the end of the fight. Well, you can see here Chandler, a lot of energy at the end. I think he took that third round. We'll have to see the judges agree. When we return, we will learn the winner of this second lightweight tournament semifinal. Bellator Lightweight Tournament semifinal number two has gone the distance. Lloyd Woodard versus Michael Chandler, all three rounds, all 15 minutes. Jimmy, on your unofficial scorecard. 29-28, Michael Chandler. I thought he won the first and third rounds. To end all suspense, we send Ladies it to gentlemen, Michael Williams. Inside the cage for the decision will go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges, Jim Lampert, David Sutherland, and Gary Ritter, all score the fight exactly the same at 29 to 28, all for the winner. By unanimous decision, now advancing to the finals of the Bellator Lightweight Tournament, Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler, now 7-0 and in his pro MMA career. His family is here, including his parents. Elation from the Chandler camp. I'm here with your winner, Michael Chandler. Michael, you didn't just win tonight. You showed you could win a long, grueling, difficult fight. Lloyd Woodard was game. Lloyd's the man, man. Hats off to him. Toughest dude I've ever fought. Might be one of the toughest dudes I'll ever fight. So my hat's off to him. Lloyd, you're an, you're an amazing fighter. Now, speaking of tough guys you need to fight, now you're in the final. Patrick Pitbull. What? Give me him. Let's now, go. How excited are you to get in there with him? Two thirds of the way to the goal. The goal is to win this Bellator tournament and then get the, the title shot. Patricky, he's flashy. He knocks dudes out, but I, I can't wait for that fight. I'm, I'm excited. Give him to me in a month. Let's go. Let's hear it for your winner, Michael Chandler, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Chandler's mom, Betty, and his dad, Mike, showing absolute joy as their son is through. So with that victory, Michael Chandler puts his place in the final of Bellator's Season 4 Lightweight Tournament, where he will face Patricky Pitbull. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, Michael Chandler defeats Lloyd Woodard.